Back at the barnyard, broadcast in Irish or Gaelic. Owen Mac de Armada lends his voice to the sassy mouse Pip. The film will soon be shown on TG4, the Gaelic language TV station. Owen Mac de Armada has dubbed 15 cartoons into Irish this year alone. He speaks the language perfectly, so he's in great demand to dub shows like Sesame Street, South Park, Tom and Jerry, and many other cartoon series. Oh, it's really fun, yeah, yeah, but it's also work. If, if, if I didn't have Irish, I wouldn't be getting the work, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm very lucky like that I was raised with the language, like Andy and Pat here. We were brought up with Irish, it's our first language, and, um, you know... And you love it. Oh, yeah, I really love it. Really, yeah. Here, guys. In the next studio, they're producing the 13th season of the Irish soap opera Ross Na Run, which is shown three times a week on TG4. The government in Dublin spends lots of money to produce this little world in which only Irish is spoken. It's also introducing people without Irish and who watch TV and introducing them to the language and they can follow it because there are subtitles and it helps them build up their vocabulary, I suppose, and help them improve their Irish, you know. For the economically underdeveloped region of Connemara, west of Galway, the Irish television station has been a real advantage, creating hundreds of jobs. The station is part of the government program to promote Gaelic in what are called the Gael Tacht regions or Gaelic speaking areas. 300 kilometers away in the capital Dublin, Irish is quite visible too. Signs on streets and buses are bilingual. But hardly anyone here speaks the language. Maybe just one or two words. Goramila Mahagat. What does that mean? Thank you. Yeah. Didn't you learn it in school? I did. Yeah, and unfortunately I hate to say it, but it never stayed with me. No, it's a shame. Like, I mean, it's definitely, definitely gone, really, going out. More down the country, they'd speak it, <laughs> not up here. No, I wouldn't abolish it. I'd leave it for whoever wants to learn to speak it, but uh, just not for me. Journalist Kevin Myers is less tolerant. In his columns in the Irish Independent, he criticizes the government harshly for spending millions to promote a language spoken only by a small minority. Languages die. This is a, this is a norm. A dozens of languages die every year. Is it good? No, it's not culturally good. It's not good for the world that something happens, but it does happen. That's it. Species become extinct. Other species emerge. It's, it is the world we live in. You can weep about the world we live in, and there's every reason to, but that's not going to change anything. Putting money into the Irish language is to say, I'm going to burn this money. It's like getting a big bonfire, throwing all your millions of euros on it and setting fire to it. That's what it is. But there are no plans for budget cuts at UDARAS, the state developmental agency for the Irish language. It promotes Irish from kindergarten to newspapers. Patrick O'Halan founded the Irish TV station 12 years ago. He knows the language has no chance if it doesn't use modern media. They must be cool, they must be sexy, they must, be, they must have that attraction. Uh, and they must be associated with people who are successful and successful young people speaking Irish just as they would speak any other language, but it happens to be Irish, not English. And there are a lot of, there are a lot of models out there today, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the best sense of the word, who are, who are giving, in, giving this image to them and are, who are impacting on the mindsets of young people. And it's, it's now become much more attractive, much more cool, and I think that that spreads to the older generation as well. So Owen's job at the TV station is secure, and he can't imagine ever moving away from Connemara again. A few years ago, he worked as a teacher in Dublin. But the western part of the country is his real home, where the Irish language, which is central to his own life, is part of everyday life. It's going from strength to strength. People are not giving up on the language, and um, that's the way I look at it, and long may it continue, you know? Highlander. 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 Highlander.